What is up, guys? Welcome to part one of our reaction to Twisted. Hey, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Behind Curve Cast. Consider supporting us on Patreon. Uh, we got some cool bonus footage up there. Uh, you can take part in polls, help us decide what's coming next. And for uh, five bucks, we'll uh, react to whatever you want. And as always, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So, the, the people have spoken. This they was overwhelmingly the poll favorite for the next show to do. You know what's... It's funny because as much... Of you that have wanted us to do Black Friday, and we put that on the poll, Twisted destroyed it. It did. It did. Um, so this is, I mean, it's got to be good. Right. Even before we did the last one where uh, Trailed Oregon won, mm. Twisted wasn't an option. We just kind of forgot about it. Uh, and like Everybody <laughs> in the comments was like, why is Twisted not an option? So we made sure to put that on here. Right. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited, especially as someone who's never seen the actual Aladdin. Before. It, which still shakes me to yeah, this day. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, well, yeah, I know now. Maybe we should watch Aladdin after this. And I can be like, <laughs> oh, oh, now I recognize these people. Right. Played the video game once. Had Return of Jafar. Uh, watched that a couple of times. That 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 still weirds me out that you've seen the sequel, but not the original. I know. Especially because I love Aladdin. And I've seen the musical. Yeah. Which was Fantastic. See, it's it's really funny. Like you loved the you know Disney musicals back in the day. That right. wasn't really a fan of musicals till we started this. I hated Disney movies back in the day. Did not like musicals at all. And then really liked them once I turned like 16, 17, 18. Didn't like, didn't like, no, nope. didn't like them. <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, so I haven't either haven't seen these uh, old Disney movies or just didn't like them when I did. Right. But for the vast majority, I have not seen them, so I have no idea what to expect here. I don't either. Um, Other than we have did the one song from this show. Correct. Dream a Little Harder. Yes. That link in yes. the description. Yes, very funny. Yeah. Very, very funny um, number. Yeah, I, I, I'm really excited just because, yeah, I hear Jeff does a really good job in this one. Jeff Blim, uh, Sam, guy who didn't like musicals, and everybody in Trail to Oregon. Jack Bauer. Oh, Jack Bauer. Jack Bauer, that guy. I'm just going to... I'm sorry. This entire show, I'm going to refer to everybody as their characters in the guy who didn't like musicals, pretty much. Like, that's just how I do things. I'm sorry. It might get annoying. <laughs> but, yeah, that's how I know them. That's what I love them from. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's... Uh, you ready to jump in? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Twisted. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a magic kingdom that prospered through its commitment to two simple ideals, duty and devotion, the two Ds. For many years, the kingdom stood as a shining beacon for artisans, craftsmen, and storytellers who all flocked to the land with a dream to uphold the sacred two Ds. Through their hard work, a glorious golden age came to the kingdom, followed by a second even greater than the first. Then, came the dark times. The kingdom fell into the hands of an evil sultan, and through his negligence, the kingdom fell to ruin. <sighs> the happiest place on earth became the crappiest place on earth. Despite the efforts of one man, a man with a dream, to restore the kingdom to its former glory and to bring about the prophesized third golden age. A misunderstood man. This is his story. The untold story of a royal vizier. I look around the kingdom and see the desperation and the devastation that persists no matter what I do. But today could be the day I finally make a difference and all the grateful citizens will say to me Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, Jafar. Oh, good morning, Baker. Where are you off to today, you no-good piece of shit? <laughs> piece of shit. What, did you just call me a bastard? No, friend, I said nothing. That was my bird. He has the ability to repeat words that others have spoken. Hmm. Well, in that case, maybe you should teach him these words. Fuck you, Jafar. Marie, the baguettes, hurry up! Why don't we have enough to eat? Why are we dying in the street? Yeah, so 
over here is crystal clear The bar that ugly old man said He's the reason for our many wars Though we're upset We shouldn't fret We mustn't let ourselves forget The saying every child raised within the kingdom the book. Keep it and may the rats ejaculate upon you. Thank you. Why is the kingdom plagued by theft? Why are there no more good jobs left? Why does the sun go down at night? Why is everyone in the kingdom white? <laughs> mostly well. You know, very right. You know, mostly well. Yes. Um, um, Jafar? Jafar! Jafar, Jafar! No man who's just could ever trust a face that triggers such disgust. His twisted features give me such a chill. <laughs> so let us pray that one fine day that evil man will go away. Cause if he wants it bad enough, he will. For if you dream a little harder, you'll get what you desire. Dream a little harder. I'm not so easy on the eyes I can't rely on looks to get me by But ugliness permits a man to use his wits Cause pretty people never have to try I hear the people whisper as I walk about the streets I know they call me Ugly old Jafar What I call planning they call scheming what I call delusion. They call dreaming. Why am I the only one who sees things as they are? I need success. Why not buy some? I want to fly. That's unrealistic. I want to be a cat. Fuck you. Whistle while you swallow a spoonful of sugar and your brains will come through a body star. Jafar will meet a violent end He could be skewered by a sailing ship Or hang the tangled jungle vines Or eaten by hyenas Or he'll plummet to his death From a castle, a clock, or a cliff And if we dream a little higher Right, like the one that we've seen. Bird, sometimes I feel as if you're my only friend in this world. <laughs> Fuck you! Right. Oh, my book, it's covered in mud. Oh, no, wait, is that shit? That smell is me, Jafar. You would not believe the morning I've had. Why is my captain of the royal guard covered in shit? 
Well, my men and I just jumped from a window and into a cart of Crazy Hakim's discount fertilizer. Why? We were chasing a man. No, a devil. A thief who every day robs from the common folk. Bread, laundry off of clotheslines, and even watermelons. <laughs> we try to catch him, but he's always just one jump ahead. <laughs> Today, things got a little out of hand, and a lot of good people are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Explain! <laughs> well, the sword swallower slit his throat from the inside when the thief's pet monkey ripped the sword right out of it. Do you know the guy that sleeps on the bed of nails? Yes. A fat guard fell on him. <laughs> now he's dead. Then when we fell from the window and into the cart of manure, Cabal snapped his neck on impact. Two more choked on shit. <laughs> All this for a loaf of bread. <laughs> Abdul, you're alive. I thought you choked on shit. <laughs> Did we get the loaf of bread back? Oh, no, I'm sorry. The thief got away with... Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes Abdul, we got the bread back. Praise Allah. <sighs> Ooh. This is all your fault, Jafar. My fault? How is this my fault and not that thief's? There wouldn't be any thieves if you fixed the socioeconomic inequality like you promised. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you even bother visiting us commoners anymore, you aristocrat? Well, there's a very important prince coming into town today from one of our vassal kingdoms, the land of Pixar. I've come to welcome him personally. <laughs> Another suitor for the princess? No, if only, Captain. He's here because the trade agreement between his kingdom and ours has expired. And I've got to extend the contract or our kingdom is doomed. That's why I've pulled out all the stops to make this prince's visit a happy one. We've arranged a character breakfast with our princess, given him a two-day park hopper pass and a lanyard for souvenir pin collecting. <laughs> Everyone must treat this prince with the utmost respect. <laughs> I saw that very prince riding by on his horse earlier. No. Oh. He was being accosted by the same thief we just spoke of. What? The street rat threw a whip in his face. He told him that he'd never seen a horse with two rear ends. Now, I'm not sure if the thief meant that the prince had a big horsey ass or a horse ass for a face. <laughs> Either way... Everyone laughed, and the prince was furious. Oh, I'd better go back to the palace and make sure his breakfast with the princess goes well. But Jafar, isn't she known to sick tigers on visiting princes? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I sure hope you haven't goofed this one up, oh, Jafar. No, no, I haven't. Why don't you go apprehend the thief? What's his name? There are whispers. Rumors only. They say he's called... Aladdin. Then we must find this one. This Aladdin. <laughs> this, this, this. Look at this mess. Dead bodies in the street. The state of this kingdom. It's no place to raise a monkey. Oh. Come on, monkey, don't be scared. Yeah. It's just a dead body. You can have fun with them. Look, you can kick them. You can eat them. Most importantly, you get to loot them. All right. Ah, there it is. Look at that. Hey, that looks enough like you. That'll get you in the bars. Those guards should have just let me take this bread. Don't forget it. I'm not a bad guy. I steal only what I can't afford. And that's everything. <laughs> what food but got no money? I'm screwed, or so it would seem. That's why I came up with this brilliant scheme. Just steal everything. All right, monkey, let's feast. Kids, you guys 
hungry? You want some bread? Oh, we do, sir. Fetch, you fuck! <laughs> I'm not dead picky. I'll steal whatever's in sight. Don't judge, because you don't understand my plight. Hey, my crutch! Bang that loser. I steal everything. <laughs> bread? Bread for sale? Very reasonably priced for these hard times. Oh, hey there, friendo. Not you again. Please, you just stole a loaf of bread from me this morning. Yeah, you gotta stop putting raisins in it, man. I hate raisins. I was talking to Monkey about it, and he thinks we should just kill you. <laughs> But I was like, no, monkey, that's crazy. But now I'm kind of thinking, yeah. No more fucking raisins. <laughs> no, no, please, I'll, I'll bring you some more bread tomorrow with no raisins. <laughs> oh, you're the best. I'm going to tell all my thief friends about you. But you owe me one. Did you know this barbaric country? They only give you money if you work. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks, the man. I'll keep stealing all I can instead of being a fascist yuppie jerk. Get for free. Besides the economy, shit, so I make haste for making exits. Get chased by a murderous mob. Hey man, still beats getting the job. Am I right? Ah. Oh, getting in trouble a little early today, aren't we, lady? You're only in trouble if you get caught. Aladdin? Oh, I'm in trouble. After, after that night we spent together, my belly grows big with child, and my father says that you must marry me or I'll bring dishonor to my entire family. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't give up on my dreams and settle down just because your dad's being a dick. <laughs> Besides, if I do marry, I want it to be for love. Oh, Aladdin, I understand. <laughs> I knew you would. You're such a special girl, Jezebel. Who's Jezebel? Uh-oh. Busted! Yoink! Fair, but in my defense, dude, your daughter's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that it's my duty to steal, cause stealing's an art. I'll steal clothing and shelter, whatever I lack. Candy from babies, the shirt off your back. Credit, identities, thunder and scenes. Intellectual property, whatever that means. And if you look closer, this poor little orphan will steal your <laughs> so quick question here <clears throat> someone who's seen original aladdin yes uh all those things that they said aladdin did at the beginning did he actually do those in the movie yes like, uh, causing all of those people to die and all of that stuff they don't show but, they don't show people dying but like their... big dudes falling on guys sleeping on beds of nails yes and, and like that kind of he shit. does make the joke about the prince's Face being a horse's ass in the uh, original animated classic. The incredibly important prince who they need to have this trade agreement or everything goes to shit. Yep. Glenn's kind of a prick, man. Yeah. Like, really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. I'm glad I have some sort of frame of reference. This is all accurate then yeah. so far. Well, fuck me. All right. It's imperative that this prince's visit is a happy one. And who knows? Maybe he and the princess will hit it off. Mm, good luck marrying her, oh, Prince Ahmed, your excellency. Is this how your kingdom treats its guests, Jafar? <laughs> Take a look at this. Tell me, what do you see? Your heart boxer shorts, my liege. What else? Your ass cheeks, my lord. <laughs> my ass cheeks. They're hanging out. And what's this? Blood. Blood on my ass cheeks. Tell me, Dravar. 
How the fuck did it get there? <laughs> is it because... Uh... It is because your princess just sicked a Bengal tiger upon my ass! I am lucky that it is so pert and small. Oh, well, I am grateful for your tiny ass, my lord. I cannot believe that she thought that she could feed a prince to a Bengal tiger and that there would be no political consequences. This really is an act of war, Jafar. And she treated it as if it were a throwaway joke. As if I were some silly side character here only to illustrate her reluctance to get married. <laughs> well, not only am I the ruler of a sovereign nation, but I have feelings too. And people who care about well, me. Well, you must forgive our princess. She is youthful, but uh, well-meaning. <laughs> Do not feed me a shit and call it couscous, Javar. <laughs> this is yet another insult that your kingdom has heaped upon mine. But you can no longer afford such arrogance. <laughs> Consider your kingdom's greatest exports over the last ten years. Toys. Exotic fish, trash compacting robots, and other such incredibles. <laughs> All produced not by your kingdom, but by mine. Yes, you produce the goods and we distribute them. You take the credit for them. No, we share the credit. Well, perhaps we don't want to share the credit any longer. I had considered extending our alliance, but now, because of your princess, that is completely out of the question. The next time that I return to this so-called magic kingdom, it will not be with a lanyard or a two-day park-hopping pass, <laughs> but with an army. Jafar, prepare for war. No, Ahmed, wait! No! Nobody makes an ass of Prince Ahmed! <laughs> Damn that girl! Oh, princess, you've got some splaining to do! Oh, no. No, the Indian swallowtails, they've escaped! No! I set them free! But those birds were imported from a foreign land! They can't survive here, the hawks will have them within the hour! Well, an hour free is better than a lifetime in a cage. Being fed and pampered and cleaned up after. What kind of a life is that? Princess, when are you going to learn that your actions have consequences? <clears throat> that prince you just sicked a tiger on has threatened our kingdom with war. Oh, it's not a big deal. He was such a joke. Just like every other swaggering peacock I've met. But not all of your suitors have deserved a tiger set upon them. What about that first prince? He was a charming fellow. I heard he once made out with a girl while she was blacked out. That's not charming. That's kind of rapey. <laughs> well, what about Prince Eric, the seafaring flautist? He fucked a fish. Oh. He did not fuck a fish. He wanted to fuck a fish. Oh, predator fish fucker. Will anyone ever live up to your impossible standards? <laughs> you know you're going to have to get married one of these days. Never. Marriage is a medieval construct that represents the ownership of women. It's like slavery. Grapes! <laughs> Besides, if I do marry, I want it to be for love. <laughs> One of these days you're going to learn that life isn't about dreams coming true. It's a series of compromises and disappointments. I was hoping that Prince Ahmed could fix our kingdom's problems, but now we are worse off than ever, and I've got to find a way to clean up your mess. But you... Being a princess is so stifling. I'm suffocating in this palace. Oh, fan princess? <laughs> Now I'm kind of chilly. Oh, I'm a shroud of silk, my lady. I can't wear this! Did you know they make these things in sweatshops? Where have you been? Oh, spinning silk in your private sweatshop, mistress. <laughs> <laughs> you actually work in one of those? Yes. That's supporting a corrupt system. You're a part of the problem. 
<laughs> yes, oh my god. <laughs> Am I the only one who wants more out of life? I just want to be free so badly. You slaves could never understand this feeling. Yes, princess. I'm the most powerful girl in the land. With a wave of my hand, I can give a command, but it's just like whatever, cause they don't understand. Look at my life from the outside, and sure, I've got servants and tigers and stuff. You're probably thinking she's got everything. Well, it's true, cause I do, but so the fuck what, it's not enough. I want a life of adventure, with no orders I have to obey, and dangers galore, long as I can be sure that I'm safe and secure at the end of the day. I've got to escape from this palace For a life where I'll truly be free I'll go live somewhere new Just as big with a few And a few dozen servants attending to me That's all I'm asking for I just want a More. <laughs> I want the moon. I want to live on the moon and eat it in a pie and keep it as a pet and wear it like a gemstone in my hair. And someday soon, the people who say I'm just dreaming, like Father and Jafar, will see how wrong they are. Yeah, wow, uh, Princess, and, uh, <clears throat> what was his name again, Aladdin? Yes. Fucking assholes, man. Fucking dicks. You know, that's a, that's a, that's a play on the original story a little bit. And they're supposed <laughs> to be the heroes of that original Aladdin, huh? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah, kind of self-centered, self-righteous kind of assholes. Well, so keep far. in mind, this is from Jafar's perspective. Well, yeah, but apparently <laughs> everything that they're doing is actually happening. Did right. the princess actually sick that tiger on that dude? She did. What a bitch! Yep. Why would she... Not okay, man. Not okay. No, especially a tiger. I don't think I'm going to watch the original Aladdin <laughs> if this if these are the kind of people that I'm supposed to root for. It's kind of making me question everything I knew about Aladdin. Oh, fucking, he's a fucking asshole, man. Multi, like, mass murderer here. Right. Mass murderer. Should be in... What's their town again? Agrabah. Agrabah fucking jail. Easily. Easily. I'm so happy, though, that Sam 
aka Jeff Blim, uh, is Aladdin. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That's fantastic, and I <laughs> love the puppet for the monkey. Up uh, the monkey, uh, Apu. Apu, correct. A- Apu with a P. Or? Yes, with a P. Like Apu from The Simpsons. No, Abu. Fuck. We're gonna it's go a, with Abu. With it's a Abu. Yes, it is Abu. I was gonna say because that guy ran a quickie mark. <laughs> Apu. Um, I love the puppet. That's very cool. Um, the woman that's controlling is doing a very good job. Uh, I was actually kind of wondering how they were going to do the monkey. Right. Because I remember that in the video game. There was a monkey that would hand you apples that you would then throw at the guards. Mm-hmm. Killing the guards, I guess. God, I really should have seen this coming. Emma from Guy Who Did Like Musicals, playing the puppet. Is that her? Yeah, it was her. That's her? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Good for her. Yep. Good for her. And I, obviously, the uh, the mom from the show of Oregon. Slippery when wet. Slippery <laughs> when wet. In that one performance, you know, it's it could be anything. Right. Um... Yeah, as as Princess Jasmine. Correct. Ja- <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm getting this. Um, yeah, so what do you think so far? This, as the person that's actually experienced a lot. This has been wildly entertaining. Um, and there are some awesome slight nods to the original movie, the Disney production. Um, in the song with Jeff playing as Aladdin, the street rat, like their little breakdowns in the song that happened in his introduction in the movie as well. So there's a little bit of a uh, musical play there nice. that's also happening. Um, Jasmine, fucking not a nice person, as you had mentioned. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I am. It's how the show is supposed to be, but I'm definitely on the side of Jafar so far. He's he's trying, man. He's trying. Now, granted. Uh, they have said he's an aristocrat, aristocrat, so he's probably up in his fucking giant tower while everybody is, you know, starving. Right. So he could do something in that respect. Um, but yeah, you know, trying to keep uh, the trade and everything going on and have his guards not be murdered by some street rat thief, mm-hmm. fucking Aladdin guy. Like, he's, I feel bad for him. He's got a lot of responsibility. Probably a lot of anxiety and stress comes with the job. I would imagine so. You know. I would imagine so. Plus, you know. Plus, going around and everybody's being like, fuck off, fuck prick. Right. Like, it's just, it's unfortunate, man. I, I feel bad for uh, for Jafar. It's going to chip away at one's self esteem. I really do. I really do feel bad for the guy. But yeah, so far, very funny. Yeah. Very, very funny. Very entertaining, especially as like a Disney outsider. I wasn't sure if I'd still be as entertained, but I, I definitely am. Right. I'm just kind of meeting all of these characters for the first time. The land of Pixar. <laughs> Which is, oh my god, right? Pixar. I love the little Wally reference, too. The um, Calling it the Magic Kingdom and shit, too. Yeah. <laughs> All those little fucking Pixar little jokes. Fuck, hilarious. Little trash compacting robots. That totally had to be Wally. Little trash compacting robots. Those little things. Um, but yeah, no, so far, fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, thank you, everybody. Who Everybody who voted in the poll, especially everybody that voted for this, because this is fantastic. It is. This is absolutely incredible. I don't think Star Kid puts out anything bad. Yeah, well, we're only three shows in. Right. We could see some shitty ones. They might have laid an egg. Even Pixar doesn't bat a thousand. True. Neither does Disney. <laughs> even even like Disney separate of Pixar doesn't bat a thousand. So Uh-huh. Uh, this is uh this has been fantastic. Yeah, it absolutely has. I am super excited for the rest of it. I am too. <laughs> so yeah, that was part one of what is this called again? Twisted. Twisted, God Part damn it. Part one of Twisted. You could just call it Aladdin. Aladdin 2.2. Let's call it Jafar. 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 I like it. This has been part one of Jafar. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, and we'll get you next time.